As we come up on Thanksgiving time, we're always looking for uh, various ways to cook turkey. And today we're going to do an applewood rosemary smoked turkey breast. And we're going to start with um, two turkey breasts. We've got these wings on. And we're going to take and just slit a couple of holes in them. And we're going to take our twigs of rosemary and just push those through those holes. What we want to do is then bring it back up on the inside into another hole. We're going to put two twigs in each breast. This will really give us a nice flavor. We're going to let these marinate with that for about an hour. Along with the rosemary, then I'm going to take a half a clove or about a quarter of a clove of garlic and insert that also right up into that same spot that we've put the rosemary into. I want those to get up inside that meat so that they'll start to give some of that flavor to the meat. So we'll get our two um, turkey breasts done with that and then we'll let them sit in the refrigerator for right at an hour and then they'll go into the smoker with applewood and rosemary to flavor it. Our turkey breasts have been in the refrigerator marinating um, with the rosemary and the garlic in them for an hour now. Now we're going to season them before we put them on the grill. We just want to lightly season them with some black pepper. And some sea salt. and a little bit of garlic salt. And they're ready to go in the smoker. We finished smoking the turkey breasts with two ounces of applewood and four twigs of fresh rosemary. We cooked them at 275 degrees for two hours and this is our finished product. You can see by the look of the turkey breasts that I've cut how much moisture is maintained um, in the turkey breast when it's smoked and you see it makes a really pretty dish um, to put together with the, leaving the wings on the turkey breasts. It really looks pretty as a plate presentation. If you'd like more information about this recipe or about Cook Shack Smokers, give us a call at 1-800-423-0698 or visit us on the web at cookshack.com.